Hello everybody, welcome to another Basement Collective Battle Report. It's another d battle report with Chris and his corn demon kin. As well, I'm playing my Necrons here. We're going to try the new detachment. Well, I'm trying my new detachment. He just took a CAD, but or whatever his new force ca is called. But this is what I'm playing. A thousand point small game. Only have enough time for a thousand points. So my uh, Reclamation Legion, I got... Six Immortals, Tesla Guns, and a Night Scythe, with an Overlord with the Strength 7 AP2 Flamer. I have 10 Warriors and a Ghost Arc. 10 Foot Slogging Warriors. 3 Plan 2 Blades Tesla. And then a Canoptic Harvest with 3 Wraiths with Whip Coils. Uh, 3 Scarabs, and a Spider who doesn't have the Particle Beamer, but my only one with the Particle Beamer is not getting painted. So that's a thousand points of Necrons. Okay, Chris, you're beautifully planted corn. What do we have today? We've got hounds. Hounds. We've got a herald of corn on a juggernaut with the loci that gives them furious charge, I believe it is. Okay. And he has the blade of endless bloodletting. We've got uh, five chaos spawn with a lord with the uh, axe that turns into the bloodthirster. Mm -hmm. We've got eight cultists, eight cultists, Two Mauler Fiends. Okay, this so... This is a uh, standard combines ar combined arms attachment. No formations or anything. No formations. Okay. So, he knew he was playing Necron, so he tried to get all his close combat in as quick as possible. But uh, he has super fast close combat. Should be a fun game. Here is the deployment. I did win the roll off to go deploy first, so I am deploying first. My Warlord cheat. I must ish accept challenge is... The only person that can do a glorious intervention is Vanguard of Byron, but I get to reroll all failed to hits. Which is not a very good Warlord trait for my Warlord, because he doesn't have a War Scythe, and he also is against the Close Combat Army. And I couldn't reroll it because, you know, Necron to current attachment. But anyways, uh, we are playing the Maelstrom at Moor, where you can seize the other person's score objective X, and you, don't, you can't toss it. So uh, I did win the roll to deploy first. I deployed first. I got my Wraiths on, over on this side with my scarabs and my spider and then beside them I got my one squad of warriors, foot slogging warriors and the ghost arc and then I have the tomb blades in reserve I have my flyer with the overlord and the immortals on Chris's side he has the warriors right there uh, with one Malafiend, the spawn and his warlord yep and the herald on the juggernaut oh and the herald on the juggernaut so nice death star right there you got a Malafiend over here and the hounds. hounds, yes, and the other squad of cultists. He has nothing reserves, everything's on the table. So I do go first. Chris did attempt to seize the initiative and failed. So we'll be Necrons, turn one. Objectives harness the warp. I'm gonna toss that. <laughs> I like how they put, they should remove that from the deck, like from my deck and your deck. Yeah, you're talking like the corn deck, harness the warp. <laughs> Makes no sense. So, but I we're tossing it. Secure so objective six which is good for Chris, because it's over there <laughs> with this objective secured cultist on it. So I'm not going to score that one. Secure objective five, which <laughs> is good for it. Chris, because it has going to have some cultists on it. I mean, I could probably get to there with my wraiths, but we'll see. <laughs> he did call it at the beginning of the game. And finally, hold the line. That's like an automatic first turn for if you go first turn. But that's my objective cards. Awesome. End of Necron turn one, the wraith moved up. The Scarab spawned one, he didn't suffer a wound, and he gave him everything reclamation, Spider. not reclamation, a reanimation. The Scarabs moved up and uh, just stayed there to capture that objective five. The Warriors moved into the terrain, and the Ghost Ark moved up a bit, and they all shot at that Mauler Fiend, and did two hull points to it, so it has one hull point left. The Tomb Blades shot at the cultist right there and did three three wounds well he did four wounds but he fit past one six plus so at the end of my turn I scored objective five and I scored hold the line and I can't toss objective six which I give it to Chris so the score is now two nothing corn cards secure three uh, that That's is right over there, there. Eh, oh well. there's three I could maybe maneuver that with my charge <laughs> Assassinate. Kill an enemy character. I have zero characters on the table. Oh well. Recon. Toss that, grab a new one. Hold the line. <laughs> That's gonna be hard for you to get. <laughs> uh, you nah, to, my cultists will hang back. Yeah, but you need three. I need three? Yeah. The uh, dogs are hanging back too. Nah, I'd rather kill stuff. Oh, okay. but it, 
End of corn turn one. Uh, pretty good turn for him. I saw it coming. The squad right here moved up, ran up, charged into my warrior squad. He killed my warrior squad, but I did manage to do two wounds to him in close combat and one into overwatch. The Mauler Fiend moved up and attempted to charge this and failed. Sad face. The corn dog stayed there along with the cultists and the other cultists to hold the line objective. The Mauler Fiend charged the scarabs and managed to kill two of them. The scarabs didn't, didn't do anything back and the Mauler Fiend passed its. It will not die. It will not die. He claimed So your objective. he did claim my objective six and he did claim hold the line. Yep. And uh, he couldn't get assassinate. Are you tossing assassinate? Uh, I'm gonna toss secure three. Secure three? Yeah. You can't. It's the you can't toss secure three. Oh, you can't toss it. Okay, yeah. assassinate. But you have okay. three points. You got first blood. So he did get first blood, and so he has three points to my two points. Going on to neck. Uh, sorry, not yeah. Necron's turn two. Necron turn two cards. Don't mix them up, though. Age oh, of the machine. I forget what that does. Score and victory point at the end of your turn if at least one gun emplacement enemy vehicle enemy building was destroyed during your turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Or score D3 if you score this door 3. Some cure objective 1, which is right here. <laughs> and I got <laughs> no, yeah, Thrall of the Silent yeah. King. Yeah, but he's not odd sec. When this tactical objective is immediate, generate a bonus tactical objective that does not count towards the number of active. So that's one. I draw an objective, and if my warlord scores it or is part of scoring it, I get D3 instead of the additional on top of the one. I thought you score it if you get it your turn. I thought you get D3. No, if my warlord scores it. Uh. And ascendancy. <laughs> so I get D3 plus D3. Ascendancy, that's if you control D more of the objectives than you No, if you score, you score D3 victory points, if you score any oh, D3 objectives. So objective dumb, points. that's D6. <laughs> Okay, so it's better than D6. So that's what I got there. It is, because you get a guaranteed. End of Necron's turn two. Uh, my flyer came in. I uh, didn't drop his payload, but he shot over here, and he managed to kill off one of the... Spawn. Spawn, okay. <laughs> the, also, the Tomb Blades moved to secure this objective and shoot at this squad and managed to kill two of the spawn. The Ghost Dark and the Ten of Warriors inside whiffed at shooting at the smaller Fiend and only did one hull point to him. The spider moved back up here to secure this objective, gave reanimation protocol everything and spawned a scarab. In combat, the scarab did nothing to him and the Mauler Fiend only killed one scarab. And then over here we had uh, the Wraith charged, moved up and charged the cultists and killed off the cultist squad. So that's what everything did on my turn. Points wise, I do score objective uh, one and I score Chris's objective three. So pass me objective three please Chris. And then, because I got Thrall of the Silent King and Descendancy, I scored two D3. So I score four points there. So it puts me up to eight points to his three. So that's the end of that. Turn two objective cards for corn. Big game, Hunter. You have to kill a vehicle or monstrous creature. I think I can handle that. You sure can. Secure objective four. Which is on right your side somewhere? Oh, by the spider. Bite the spider's on it right now. And then blood for the skulls. <laughs> blood and skulls for corn. That's a pretty cornate name. Uh, score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one enemy character was killed in a challenge during your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have one character on my list, and it's still in a flyer, which you cannot do absolutely anything to right now. What a shame. What a shame. So that's his points for turn two. End of corn turn two. So that was only turn two. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fun. Okay, so uh, what happened here? <laughs> the Molophine ran up and charged a Ghost Ark, blew up the Ghost Ark, but did no wounds to my guys. The This Molophine finally finished off the Scarabs. These guards finally, turn two, finally. charged the Spiders <laughs> and secured that objective four, so that got him a point because he had secured objective four. And then over there, the dogs charged the Wraiths, did absolutely nothing, but the Wraiths did two wounds to the dogs. So. That'll put, he did score two points for his secure objective four and big game hunter. So it is, the points are now five to eight. So I do have age of the machine, so I have to kill a vehicle still, but I also score secure objective two, which yeah, is middle board. middle board, okay. That, that won't be that hard. And then the last one is secure objective four, which is right there. 
<laughs> I may not be able to score that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I also forgot to mention he did pass both It Will Not Dies on the Mauler Fiend, so this has two hole points left, and that one's full. End of Necron's turn three. Uh, what happened here? Uh, the warrior shot at the Mauler Fiend, rolled pretty well, and killed him. The flyer went off the table because there was nowhere really for him to go and drop his payload. That would be advantageous. The jet bikes moved from over here, and then they turbo boosted to get objective two. And then the Wraith combat over here, I just killed a Wraith, he did nothing to me. So at the end of my turn, I killed a, one of his vehicles, so I got a point for that. And I scored objective two, I got a point for that. Push the score 10 to five. And I do have objective four, which I can't toss, which Chris gets a free of charge. <laughs> Chris currently does have six blood points. He's electing to keep them and not spend them. So draw your objective cards. Secure objective four. four. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> secure five. Secure five is pretty okay with that too. right here. So <laughs> you're all if you get it. Corn cares not. Score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one unit, friend or foe, was completely destroyed during your turn. If three to five units were completely <laughs> destroyed, score D3. And if six or more units were destroyed, you get D3 plus three. Okay, so that's, you're not going to be able to get that. Yeah, not if I prioritize things properly. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather get three points or two points is your question, right? I don't know, we'll see. Okay. So eight to ten. End of corn turn, turn three. Uh, he just kept these guys here because he has two secure objective four. The mall if he had moved up here to secure objective five. In that combat, uh, I killed the wolf, a dog, and he did nothing to me. So puts the score ten to eight. So turn four, my flyer automatically comes in, and I'm gonna draw my cards. Demolitions, I can't score that, so I'm gonna draw a new one. Secure objective four. <laughs> Secure objective three, which is right here. And then, domination. <laughs> oh dear, so I'll be able to take this. That's not very good for me. <laughs> End of Necron's turn four. The warriors moved over a bit and uh, got in 12 inches of him, but 24 inches of him, and then uh, shot at these guys. Combined the shooting with the ghost arc, my guys are still inside. I managed to kill all the spawn. The jet bikes, tomb blades, they moved over here to score objective three, and over there, I just killed one more dog. There's one dog left. So I did score objective three. That puts me at 11 points. I can't toss objective four, but I'm gonna to toss domination. So points is 11 to eight. So he has keeping this one. Uh, he just has to kill a unit, get completely destroyed. And his other two are the Blood God Scorn. Score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one enemy unit that was falling back at the beginning of your turn or one enemy unit with either the Psyker, Psychic Pilot, or Brotherhood of Psychers special rules completely destroyed. Yeah, you're not getting that this turn. It's <laughs> a weird one. Secure objective one. Which is your... right there. No, right there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so at the end of his turn, uh, pretty interesting turn. Really weird that Korn can do this for a 200 point unit, but... <laughs> so, uh, the... Mollerfeed ran from here, moved and ran, so we can secure objective one. This guy stayed on objective four, and then... How did you spawn? Oh yeah, he uses blood tokens to sacrifice this character, the Lord, for a demon prince, but because he was carrying that weapon, what happened is when the character dies with this weapon, you get a free bloodthirster. So that's where that bloodthirster came from. But because he has that weapon in the rule state, if you have any artifact, it goes onto the demon prince. That demon prince now has an artifact. So you get basically two bloodthirsters. Well, if that demon prince dies. If that demon prince dies, you get two bloodthirsters for the 190 point unit that guy was. Or so. Yeah, he was 155 points. 155 points. So 210, five, 205 points for that unit with his axe. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, basically, two, a free demon prince. A 155. And a free bloodthirster. He's 65 plus 45 plus 60. Yeah, it's 175. Yeah, but so a uh, free demon prince and a free bloodthirster for that. Pretty good. Uh, we're going into Necron's turn. Oh, sorry. He did score three objectives because he has my objective four. He had objective one. And he had that one card where he, if a unit fully dies, you score one one victory points. If three die, score D3, but that's okay. And he's tossing the one where I have to be falling back. That's so 11 to 11. 11 to 11 currently. So, Psychological Warfare, in my card, I have to make him fail a leadership test. <laughs> Hunger for Glory, I have to issue a challenge. <laughs> okay. And no prisoners, I just have to destroy a unit. Not very good cards for me for turn five. 
Okay, end of Necrons turn five. The Wraiths moved up. They, I forgot to mention last time in Chris's turn, they did finish off the last dog. But the Wraiths moved up and charged the Blood Letter. They whiffed on the rolls. I got three hits out of 12. So, and I only did two wounds. So he has one wound left. These guys shot at the Mauler Fiend. Again, whiffed there. He got no hull points. The Tomb, the tomb Blades moved up and shot at the Cultists and charged the Cultists and killed them. So that's, and the flyer shot at the Bloodthirster and the Bloodthirster got two, five, Demon Prince. Demon Prince, sorry, got two, three plus saves. So at the end of my turn, I did, I do have a, no, I did score no prisoners. Puts me up to 12 points. Uh, I am gonna toss Psycho, oh, this is a hard one. I don't know which one I should toss. <laughs> I'm not, you can't score. I can't score psychological so I'm gonna to toss that. So the points are 12 to 12 to 11 at the end of Necrons turn five. The Corn card. cards, turn five. Secure three. Which is all the way that, but over there. I could get that maybe. It'll be hard. Murder call. Uh, score one victory point at the end of your turn. If during your turn at least one unit with the Demon of Corn special rule arrived from Deep, deep Strike Reserve or was summoned as a result of the blood to yeah, you're not getting that. I can't get that. <laughs> Hungry for glory. You have to issue a challenge. <laughs> that shouldn't... It's uh, impossible. I have no character. That's terrible. Why are you dumb? <laughs> <laughs> One point, Chris. <laughs> okay. So, end of corn, turn five. Uh, what happened there? The Mauler Fiend that was right here, uh, that was right here around, ran and tried to... D moved and then tried to run together and he needed a 5 to run to capture the objective. Unfortunately he didn't so he just moved there. The Demon Princes both landed. Uh, this one snapshot its lash at this and did nothing to it. Uh, other than that my Wraiths did finish off the Herald. Herald in close combat. So he didn't score any points his turn so the points are st currently sitting at uh, 12 to 11 for me. And we both got line breakers. And we both got line breakers. So let's see if the game ends. It does not, again, it goes on for another turn. So we'll be back with Necrons, turn six. I do have Hunger for Glory, because I tossed the other one, so I do get uh, Reclaim and Capture. Roll a d6 when this tactical objective, the result is an odd number, score d3, six victory points at the end of your turn, if you control all three odd numbers. Okay, so it's the same with Eid. So odd, so we got one, three, and where's five? I'm gonna score that. <laughs> and uh, this one here, behind enemy lines, I have to have one unit behind his enemy line, which I do got over there. Not if you wanna score a three. Not if I wanna score a three. We will see, <laughs> we'll be back at the end. End of Necron's turn six, my flyer went all the way over there because the game ends and he's in reserve, he counts as being dead, so I don't wanna have a warlord trait. And he disembarked warlord. over there, warlord kill. Uh, the warriors just moved back to capture this objective, shot at the Demon Prince and did one wound to him. The jet bikes move and turbo boosted to get three. And then the wraiths moved up to here and get there. So I scored Chris's objective three. I scored behind enemy lines. And then I get D3 for reclaim and capture. I get two. So that puts me at uh, 16 to 11. Going to Necrons. Corn, sorry. Turn six. So he has Hunter for Glory. And uh, what other ones are you grabbing here? Altar of gore. gore. Score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one enemy unit that was controlling an objective marker at the start of your turn was completely destroyed. If additionally one of your units was controlling that objective marker at the end of your turn, score D3. Sweet! I like that one quite a lot. That's a very easy one to get. Yeah, it's very easy. Secure six. That's okay with me too. Maybe. Six is all the way over here. I'm okay with that. I'm all looking right. right there. They're gonna be down by one point. Okay. Cool. So, end of corn turn six. He did score secure objective six because the Mauler feed ran over there. Uh, Altar of Gore, though, uh, uh, he charged over here. I just want to show you this. This huge bloodthirster and this demon prince charges lowly squad of uh, warriors. Uh, what happened was he shot his lash and killed one warrior in the shooting phase. And then between the 16 combined attacks, killed one warrior. Gotta love Necrons. Not 16, but still a lot of attacks. 15. 15 attacks, <laughs> killed one warrior. So I think he did score one, which puts the score currently from 12 to 16. Uh, do you want to roll to see if the game ends? Let's do it with a nice fancy corn dice. C corn red. The game does end. <laughs> Good game. Uh, we'll be back to the post game show. 
everybody, thank you for watching another Basement Collective Battle Report. Uh, I'm Irvin, this is Chris. Pretty fun game, uh, two newer codexes have tried out. The brand new one, Corn Demon King, was tried out. It's a pretty fun book. And then we also played Necrons. I played the Decurring Detachment. He didn't play the Formation Special Rules. He just did the CAD Detachment there. But uh, yeah, it was a fun game. Pretty damn close game, I gotta say. Yeah, the uh, the objective cards started out not being so much in my favor, yeah. and started getting better throughout the rest of the game, and then Irv pulled a couple bomb cards, and yeah. I was behind a little bit in the Gotta end. say, I really like that card, the Ascendancy, with that one card gave me 2d6 <laughs> objectives. Uh, but yeah, I, I honestly thought, to tell you the truth, uh, he took all close combat stuff, and uh, I'm definitely not close combat Necron, <laughs> so I mean, pretty surprised that uh, I did as well as I did. Uh, my Lord with the AP27, the Lord with the AP Strength 7 AP2 Flamer did not need it. Wouldn't have done anything to his army, and he actually the only thing he did at the end of the game was scored me Linebreaker. But yeah, any opinions on the game was it for you? Uh, I thought bringing Mauler Fiends was going to be a bad idea. It turned out they actually did pretty all right against Necrons. I was glad to have some anti armor. I took him just to have anti armor. I'm realizing flyers are a really big problem for Khan. We don't have many answers for it outside of like an Aegis or a Helldrake with a Reaper Auto Cannon. Mm -hmm. Or not a Reaper Auto Cannon, Hades Auto Cannon. But I mean, I don't know. I gotta figure something out to take against uh, armies that have flyers in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it was a fun game. I had fun. Uh, Necrons did pull out at the end with a few good cards there, but uh, it was an awesome game. Uh, we, we, we have over our 500 subscribers now. So it's awesome. We do got a new giveaway up, so just go check out that video. Uh, it's an awesome prize we got going on right there. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. The video will be Wednesday's video. Uh, just want to send out a shout out to Nafka for getting us a nice post on his. Uh, it's an awesome plug. Fayette212. Fayette212, Nafka. We'll put a link in our description for him. But uh, awesome blog there. I check it probably every day for rumors. It's a very good rumor site. Uh, most of the stuff on there does come legit. So. It's awesome site, and uh, yeah, so thank you very much for another Basement Collective. I'm Irvin, this is Chris, and keep on wargaming.